kill one person. Glad to be going home. All right, Nikki. Dave. Head back with my mum's cat. Oh no, not again. I'm afraid so. Take care. Bye bye. He's uh, off his food. Doesn't stop him trying to take chunks out of me though. There's <laughs> something going on here. Dave, can I show you something? Yeah, sure. That crusty bought this dog in a shopping trolley. Said he was ill. Certainly looks it. Mm, I thought at first he was poisoned. Then I started thinking. I got a case a few years ago. These people were giving a dog drugs. <laughs> they thought it was a laugh. And the dog, well, we had to put it down. Well, you think he's given this dog drugs? My well, symptoms seem to check. Vomiting, incoordination, increased respiration. Any idea what? Well, at the moment, I guess it's cannabis, but I'll be doing a more thorough examination later. Right. Really annoys me, Dave. Idiots who do things like that. I mean, I don't care what they put into their own bodies. We've all done a bit, haven't we? But a dog's not going to know what the hell's happening. Is there something you could do, officially? Well, it's not really our patch. It's more one for the RSPCA. Is that him? Yeah. I asked him to wait. Hang on. <laughs> Don't believe it. What? He's rolling a spliff. Excuse me, mate. Is that your dog in there? Well, it's my mate's. That's, uh, that's cannabis, isn't it? What? What you got there? Look, mate, I'm just waiting for the dog. Yeah, and I'm a police officer from Sun Hill. No, oh, no. You're under arrest. Come on. <laughs> ah, excuse me. I've got it ready for you. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Oh, it's all right, madam. No, it's not for me, is it? Oh, right. No, we're getting a mobile police office, you see, and this is for the quiz tonight. Then we've donated the first prize. Oh, mobile police office? Yeah, that's right. Have you got a minute? Yeah, it was my idea, you see. I saw this old caravan. I thought we could use that. Um, six pounds seven. You know, put it in the trouble hotspots where it's needed. And we're having this quiz tonight to raise money for its conversion. Reg! Oh. One from Sierra, Oscar. Hey, go Reg, sir. Reg, there's Sergeant Boyden here with a bloke who wants to get into the caravan. Can't find the keys. Oh, no. I've got... Tell him to get back here. Now. Come on. I think your presence is required. We're ashamed. Tony, what's the point of putting the team up when it's not settled yet? It's settled. Well, what about Luke? Is he definitely going to do it? You said he was wavering a bit. Yeah, he'll be fine. But whatever happens, I'm not having Rod's case on the team. Not after last time. All right, Tony, it's only a quiz. It's only a chance to get even with Barton Street, you mean, after last year's fiasco. All right, so it's definitely me, you, Dave Quinn and John Bolton and Luke Ashton. The history men. Mm, not sure. Sorry, Rod. There's a lot of competition this year, Mark. All right, interview terminated at 14.32. Right, so is that it then? Uh, no, it isn't, sit there. Oh, this is worse than South America, man. You say it was your mate's dog. Where is he? Huh? Choose one. You don't seem to care about what you've done, do you? Ian. Well, what were you doing? Sign. Find a trick on your mate. A bit cruel taking it out on a dog, isn't it? No, I didn't. I look after him more than he does. I've looked after that dog on my own for the past three weeks. Well, what do you think you were playing at? Well, I'll tell you what I think. I think you and your mate had one spliff too many and you thought you'd get the dog to join in. What? <laughs> it's not funny. In fact, it's downright stupid. You've made that dog seriously ill. I haven't done anything to that dog. Well, who did? All right. Oh, it's pathetic. What, are you going to do me for that as well? Well, we're not, no. I suppose you can't doubt the estimate. That's right. Sorry I kept you waiting. No problem. Is she beautiful? Oh, 
Reg! Sarge? Still working here, then? Sarge? I'm not planning on using this quiz night to get out of your official duties. Well, no, of course not. I just had to go and collect the prizes for tonight, that's all. Oh, look, they're in, huh? Where do you want it, Reg? Uh, up in my room, please. Thanks. I want those statements about the shoplifting on the high street. Sounds. Yeah, you see, when it's all done, the RSPCA have been informed about the dogs. So you might face prosecution from them, all right? You know, that uniform really suits you. Get out of my sight or I'll get more than a caution. So, Rick. But you promised. I can't. I'm sorry. Well, why not? Look, we need you, Luke. Don't we, Dave? We need Luke's specialist knowledge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, after Barton Street totally slaughtered us on the history round last time. Major embarrassment. Well, thanks to Rod Skase. Whereas this year... With your A-level... I told you I can't do it. But why not? I've got my reasons, all right? Are you coming, Dave? Leave it to me. I'll speak to him. I'll sort it out. Must be his hormones or something. Shouldn't you be on patrol? Sarge. The point is, Gov, this snap doesn't get in touch unless something really interesting is going on. Have you finished our statements, Rob? I'm just doing them now, sir. He's never let me down before, and all I want to do is find out what he's got to say. Have you done the property list? Almost. And you'll finish them by tonight? Yeah, they'll definitely be finished tonight. This is going to take me about half an hour at the most. All right, go on then. But you better take Kerry with you. Cheers, Gov. Excuse me. It was a pink elephant, wasn't it? Yeah, it's one of the prizes for the quiz tonight. Oh, I thought they'd lose me for a minute. Yeah. Here, yeah, Reg, this is your headquarters, is it? Well, right, just for today, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, look. Uh, yeah. So, I suppose there's any chance of you getting me on the team tonight? Well, it's nothing to do with me. Come on, you're organising it. Well, that's why, in my capacity, it would be completely wrong of me to try and exert any influence over the makeup of the teams. Look, uh, have a word with Liz or Tony. They're team captains. I keep telling you, Dave, no. Well, why not? You can at least say why not, can't you? Well, I just... You yeah, go ahead, Sam. Message for you, Dave. Nikki Simpson wants you to go and see her. Yeah, cheers, on way. All right, sorry. What have you got for us, then? A very interesting development, you might say. Oh, yeah? Go on. Do you remember a couple of Turkish brothers? From the old patch? The Lazars? Yeah. I thought you would. Who were they? It's Mehmet and Kamal Lairs are into just about everything. Drugs, pimping, money lending, and the odd bit of torture. It was you who found him, wasn't it? That lad. Yeah. What was left of him. What happened? I don't want to know. Anyway, Terry, what have you got on them? Well, I've seen them. Where? Down the road there. Near the college? Yeah. You sure about that? Uh, no mistaking them. They were there earlier, walking up one side of the street, knocking on the doors and speaking to the owners. The Lazar brothers, have you got any idea what they're up to? Selling vacuum cleaners. Oh, the good news is your cat just had a bowel infection. Your mum picked him up. So I'll live then. Definitely. Oh well, never mind. But that's obviously not why I called you, it's about this dog. Well, we just released a bloke who did it. Oh. That's a pity. Well, we're not sure if he did it on purpose. He might have just left some of the stash lying around. That's what he told you, is it? Well, what are you getting at? I thought he was a little slow responding, and some different symptoms have started to show. Oh, yeah, go on. It's not just a bit of dope, Dave. This dog's been given heroin. He did this on purpose. Bit of a long shot, isn't it, Sarge? They're probably gone by now. Let's just give it another five minutes, eh? There. That gold car straight ahead, you see it? That's them. And that's the younger brother, Kamal. Looking for something? Or someone. Let's find out. Mr. Bolton. Mehmet. Aren't you going to introduce me, then? No. They let you out, then. Quick behaviour. What are you up to? Well, we're looking for a car showroom. We're thinking of getting a roller. This one has got a scratch and it's a bit noisy. Well, you're on the wrong side of town. Oh, really? Yeah. No wonder we couldn't find it, then. Oh, well. Thanks for your help. It's 
not police business, though, is it, Dave? You said so yourself. Toe rag. Can't believe I didn't suss him. I thought he was just a space cadet. He was a bit nervous, though, weren't he? Yeah, we all know why. I'll have him. I'll have him for class A. What's we going on here, then? Hello? Police! Could have tied it up a bit. I know the lads brothers. I've had a run-in with them before. They're dangerous and for some reason they're now here in Sun Hill. And you want to find out why? Yes, I do. They're definitely up to something, Gov. And I can guarantee you it's nothing pleasant. Well, nobody's going on any wild goose chases today. That's not what this is, Gov. No, I want the property list, I want the statements, and I want the Palmer case wrapped up with bows on and sent to the CPS. A bird in the hand and all that. <clears throat> Gov. Sergeant, you've had the quiz tonight. I'm sorry, Liz, I'm not in the mood. Whoever it was, they must have been looking for something. Yeah. I saw the police car outside. I live next door, you see. Oh, right. Oh, dear. Poor Ian. And you know Ian, do you, Mrs... Uh... Underwood. Oh, yes. We get on very well. But I'm not sure I'd like him to watch the cakes, if you know what I mean. And there's always a lot of coming and going, all times of the day and night. And I've had to mention his music a few times. Have you any idea what might have happened here? He plays the guitar, you see, Ian does. I don't mind that. It's when he starts singing. Mrs. Underwood? I've been at work. But I think I might have seen something before I went out. What was that, then? Well, it's a bit hard to tell with these two. It might not have been anything out of the ordinary. That's why I didn't say something at the time. But there was a lot of noise. Two men came to the door, sort of Arab-looking. And he let them in. Who? Ian? No, Ian was out. It was the other one with the pixie hat. Pixie hat? That's right. His name's Danny, but he's hardly ever here. Goes round the world a lot, I think. But God knows how he can afford it. They're both on the dole, you know. Anyway, Danny let them in, and then it sounded like a fight or something. The dog was barking. Did you hear what they were saying? Sorry, no. Next thing I saw was Danny running out the back and jumping over that gate. That's when I went to work. And when would that have been? Just before 12. Must have been before Ian found the dog. Danny Evans. That's right. He's nice too, but like I say, he's not here much. Thailand. And he came back yesterday? Yeah, I think so. And before that it was Borneo, Nepal, Scotland. He's a sort of hippie, really. That's the best way to describe him. Smuggling drugs from Thailand. Heroin? Could be. Is that him? Yeah. See what I mean? Ah, oh, good afternoon. You've had a bit of trouble. Just helping the police with their inquiries, you know. What have you got in the bag? Oi! Matthew, has there been any trouble up near the college today? Don't think so. Why? I'm just wondering. There was something about a dog. Someone gave it heroin. That was up that way, wasn't it, Sam? Yeah, Denzel Street. Go on. Well, that's all I know. Dave Quinnan's on it now. All units from 340, chasing suspect in the Denzel Street. Talk of the devil. Male IC-123, carrying a carrier bag. 340 for 595. I've got him, Dave. He's on Brookvale Road, heading towards... No, hold on, hold on. He's going up the alley. I'll cut him off. There he is. Oh, oh man. Water. Where's the carrier bag? What carrier bag? We saw you with it. Where is it? I'll have a look up the road, shall I? I don't know. I must have dropped it. We'll have to come and find it then, won't you? Cheers, Tone. My oh, pleasure. Is Luke going to be all right? Well, I don't know. I haven't had a chance yet. Hasn't he told you anything? Well, don't worry. Leave it to me. Now, where did you come from? Which side? I can't remember. Must have been that way. Come on. You want to change, huh? Yes, Reg, I did. Take a look at that. It's the third and lowest estimate for refurbishing the caravan. Oh, yes, sir. £400 more than you said. Uh, well, as far as the suspension is concerned, a superficial inspection led me to believe that it was fine. Superficial? That sums you up, doesn't it, Reg? You just don't think these things through. I'm beginning to regret that I offered to go halves with you on this project. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, sir. I'm doing my very best. Well, let's hope it's good enough. 
This quiz tonight, have you got that properly organised? Oh, yes, it's all under control. I'm glad to hear it. Because now you're going to have to raise an extra £200, aren't you? Rod, over here, mate. Yeah. How are you getting on with the transcripts? Yeah, I'm uh, just finishing in there. Good. A little bird tells me you might be interested in having a place in the quiz team tonight. Is that right? Yeah, I might be. Well, the funny thing is, I've got a place in the team which I might be prepared to relinquish under the right circumstances to a person of reasonable intelligence. Now you're getting my drift here. You might give it to me? If you do the MG forms without letting the DCI know. We're gonna find it, son. What's in the carrier bag, Ed? Just some shopping washing powder in there. Washing powder? Right. Just one? Yeah, that's it. This yours? No. But you were carrying it just now. Sort of. Hello. Have a look inside, shall we? Heroin? Quite a lot, I'd say. I think you'd better tell us what's been going on. Dave, Luke, I've been looking for you two. I believe you found some heroin, is that right? Yeah, we're just checking a few details now. And a flat that's been turned over. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Right, I'm looking for two Turkish brothers. They were up near the college this morning. You had any descriptions? A witness saw two Arab-looking blokes. We, we reckon they're involved. OK, that's good enough for me. I want to take this over from now on, if you well, don't mind. Hold on, we found him. Look, assuming this is the Lazar brothers, and I think it is, things could get very nasty. Meet me in the canteen in five minutes. Give me a proper briefing. It's all right by me, Sarge. And, um... Keep it quiet, will you? Why do we bother? Here you go. Thanks. Hello. Look what the cat's dragged in. Matthew. What are you doing over from Barton Street? Quiz. Tonight. Oh. That. Yeah, uh, I wanted to see Reg Hollis, if that's OK. Well, he's probably skiving in his room up by CID. Is it really that important? Uh, I'm team captain. There's just a few points to clear up. Well, don't keep him too long, are you? <laughs> <laughs> is um, Tony Stamp around? Back for refs in ten minutes. Why? Nothing. Just wondered. Perry, have you got a minute? Yes, Sarge. The word dinosaur is formed from two Greek words. What are these in English? Oh, don't tell me. Just practicing this. It is. Can you sit in on an interview? It's only going to take about five minutes. What about all the paper? How's it going? It's going fine, Gov. We're nearly finished now. Good. Can I help at all? Yeah, I'm uh, Sergeant Barnaby from Barton Street. Is uh, Reg Hollis about? I haven't seen him, but the room for the quiz is down there. All right, thanks. Please. It's really important. OK. Everything all right, Reg? Oh, yeah, fine. Apart from the fact I've got to raise another 200 quid and Mr Brown, I doesn't think I can do it. Is that what you said? Well, more or less, yeah. So I've been bored and putting a complaint as well. Do you know, Jamila, I don't know why I bother with this lot. You put yourself on the line, they couldn't give a damn. Oh, come on, Red, you're not giving up, are you? Well, how am I going to raise all this extra money? You'll find a way. You could sell some extra raffle tickets tonight, mm -hmm. eh? found it. Where? Bus stop. Which bus stop? I don't know. Look, it's not mine, all right? So what is this? You don't want to get someone else into trouble. Now, who would that be? Not your mate Danny, the one who smuggled the drugs in from Thailand. I don't know what you're talking about. Where's Danny now? Aren't you worried about him at all? No. When did you last see him? This morning. He told you where the drugs were, didn't he? What drugs? All right, the elephant, Danny, told you where he hid it. That's what they were after when they came to the flat. Danny let them in, they started to work on him. Who? Don't you know? The blokes who trashed the flat and then injected his dog, who's probably gonna die, by the way. 
What do you mean? Well, they gave it heroin, deliberately. Oh, you didn't know that? No. No. We... So, what happened to Danny then? He got away, for the time being. You see, Ian, what we're worried about is that they've got hold of Danny again. Because nobody's seen him since this morning, have they? Oh, I'll be all right, he always is. All right, then, let me tell you something about the people you're dealing with here. A couple of years ago, they took this lad off the street and they bundled him into the back of a van. And they set to work on him with a blowtorch. And do you want to know why they did that? Because his dad owed them some money. Now, I was the one who found that lad. And I don't want to go through that again. Now, you're just saying that. I know all about your police tactics. Do you? Do you think I'm joking about this? Why don't you grow up, Ian? What were you doing with a kilo of heroin? I just thought I'd, you know, get it and then dump it at the flat so they'd leave him alone. What's that number written on your hand? The number? Is it a mobile? Is that Danny's number? Have you spoken to him since you last saw him? No. Have you tried? Yeah. And? Don't know, battery must be flat or something. Or maybe he had another reason. They'll kill him, Ian. If they find him, they'll kill him. It's true. Look, we didn't set out to do this. Yeah, I know that. Now, how do we find Danny? Well, the only way is if he's left a message. Where? An answer phone. Good. Let's go and check it. But I'm not saying anything else, all right? Oh, Rich, I just want to go over the rules for tonight. Oh. Mm -hmm. Someone's been in this drawer, Tony, looking at the questions. You know, I know, because I put that hair over there like that. You're going great, Rich. Mm -hmm. Very funny. You know, it's sad, Tony. Some people are going to any lengths to win tonight. You know that, don't you? Which is a big shame, because what they're forgetting is that it's all in a good cause. Oh, yeah, that's right. Getting far too competitive, Fridge. Was it you? Me? Yeah, that looked at the questions. No, of course not. Well, who was it then? Here, Reg. Sergeant Barnaby was looking for you. Sergeant Barnaby? What, from Barton Street? Uh huh. What's he doing here? He was looking for admin. I just sent him down there. Oh. A photocopier? You prat. He's only knitting the questions for tonight, hasn't he? What? When was this? I don't know. A few minutes ago. He's probably still in the building. Let's hope so, for your sake. Tony? Sorry, Tony. Here, Liz, Liz. I've got a question for you. Who is tall, dark and handsome and on the team for tonight? Rod, what's going on? Well, Sergeant Bolton has dropped out. Has he? Uh-huh. Which means we haven't got enough time to sort out someone else, so... Uh, who is it who said that all that was useless? Shut up, Rod. <laughs> Oscar Wilde. You got those statements, Rich? Yeah, uh, it might be a minute, Sergeant. You see Sergeant Barnaby? He went that way. Sarge? Tony? What are you doing in this neck of the woods? Nothing, just passing. You mind switching off the engine? Getting out of the car? What? No need for attitude. Just get out of the car. You could be making a very big mistake here, PC Stamp. Rich, what's going on? As official umpire, I'll ask you to turn out your what? pockets. I think we've got reasonable grounds, don't you? Oh yeah, well you wouldn't have got very far with those. I've got the real questions in my briefcase. What? Well, I anticipated all this, didn't I? Two sets of questions. You had a little look as well, didn't you? I did not. All right, let's hear it then. Ian, I've just been looking for the elephant. I want to give it back to those guys, but it's gone. Have you got it? I don't know what to do. Give us a ring. It's, it's about ten to five. Is that Danny? Yeah. Ian, this is getting difficult because they've got me right and they don't know where the drugs are either. Do you know? 
Look, I can't tell you where I am. Give me a ring. It's about quarter past five and hurry up. They think I'm messing them about. The Should I try and ring him again? Just give it a minute. Ian, for crying out loud, guy, where are you? I don't know what to do. They've got me locked in this room now. What am I going to do, Ian? He's still not in. Give it here. Right. You think you've got something we want? You know what it is. We've got Danny and we've got his mobile. In case you've lost the number, it's 0890. 403 210 403? I've been... I thought you said 402. All right, Ian. We're going to need your help now. Well, what were they doing to him? They're still expecting you to take the elephant back, aren't they? What? Make the call. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Tony. Still, no harm done. We'll thrash him tonight. Well, that's fine. <laughs> right, what time do you want me... 10.15. Uh... Be there at ten. Ten. Well, at least he's keen. I saw him practising earlier. You know why he wants to be in the team? He fancies the barmaid. Oh, well, that's all right. She only goes for intelligent men. Well, I think we deserve some kind of explanation. Don't you? Come on, Doug. Well, it's my mum's birthday, all right? Do you what? My mum's birthday. Your mum's birthday? Well, why didn't you say? Why do you think everyone always laughs at me when I talk about her? Oh, no? Shut up! Well, look, anyway, I made the mistake of forgetting it last year, huh. and so did everyone else, and she just got all depressed, so I thought this year, oh. you know... You'd take her somewhere nice? Well, yeah. Somewhere she can enjoy herself? Yeah. Have you got anywhere in mind? Not yet, no. Good. Dave, she's not gonna go for it. Thanks, Kelly. What are you doing here? What are you doing those MG forms? Gov, let me fill you in on what's happened. Ian's friend Danny has been taken hostage by the Lazar brothers. They want to exchange him for the heroin that Dave Quinn had found earlier today. When's the exchange? 10.30 tonight at the Lucky Kebab shop in Canley Road. I want Ian to take it in. You sure he's up to it? Yeah, yeah, he's going to be fine. Seriously, though, John, the last thing you want is both of them caught. And I'm going to put a wire on him so we can keep tabs, and we'll put one of our lads in undercover beforehand. Uh, I don't like the look of this. Couldn't one of you take his place? They're not stupid and they've got Danny. Any messing about and that could be the last anyone sees of him. I think that Ian's got to be the best bet. All right, but you make damn sure he knows what he's doing. And if the wheels come off, give us a ring. Go. Kerry, will you get some surveillance gear up to CID? We're running out of time. Sarge, I'm not sure Ian wants to go through with this. Will you have a word? So, Ian, is that true? You don't want to do this? I did it on a whim. It was in Thailand, it was skin, and this bloke comes up to him with his stuff and he says, you know... Oh. I'll tell you what I don't understand is why he just didn't hand the drugs over. Well, there was no one at the airport, man. And then he brings it back to the home and it's like, <laughs> whoa, whoa! This is stupid, man, this is crazy. And we had to the summer, we eh? So that's when we hid it under the railway bridge. What were you planning to do? I don't know. Danny thought if we up the price a bit, then maybe we can get this small holding that we sent up in Scotland. You know, it's really nice, only five grand. You know, we'd be set up for life. Leaving off the land and that, I might let you visit. <laughs> right. What if something goes wrong? I'm no good in fights, I never have been, I just run away. Hey, don't worry, there won't be any fights. How would you know? Hey? Why do I have to go in anyway? Danny might have told them what you look like. Look, Ian. I'm not denying this is dangerous. Oh, great. But there's a couple of things you should consider. First of all, you're facing a charge of possession of a large quantity of heroin. Now, you helping us out like this might be the only way you're going to avoid going to prison. And secondly, and more importantly, do you want to help your friend Danny out of this or not? Because while we're talking about this, they could be doing anything to him. I suppose I've got to then, Anna. Yeah. There we go. As good as new. Ah, oh, surveillance equipment. Aren't we lucky? And we've got a radio van. Blimey. Have you seen the lad who's going in? Oh, he's all right. Yeah, but what do we need him for? Because I want to get some evidence on tape, something they can't wriggle out of. That's what the wire's for. Now, Kerry's going to be in the radio van with the tape recorder. These are the Lazar brothers. 
And this is Danny. Now, obviously, the safety of Danny and Ian's going to be our main objective. Well, these guys are going to take one look at what's in here, and we're going to have two dead crusties on our hands. Well, if that happens, we'll be the first ones to hear about it. Right, is everyone ready? I think I recognise this bloke. Yeah? Isn't he in Snow White? Well, that's the table's done. What do you want me to do next? Oh, well, uh, you could check the paperwork, if you like. It's uh, over there in my briefcase. The uh, combination is 666. <coughs> Mary has a little bike. She rode it on the grass. Where is it, briefcase, Reg? Well, it should be there. Somewhere. And every time the wheels went round, no, it's not. Well, it should be. I mean, I remember putting it there. Hey, where's my briefcase? Nothing to do with me, mate. Has anyone, has anyone seen my briefcase? A bloke just walked out with one. What, and you just let him go? Oh, sorry, I didn't... Know. Hang on. Somebody's nicked my phone. Well, he's only just left. Come on. You might still get him. Don't worry, Luke. I'm very happy. Really, I am. I mean, after last year and everything, I just wanted to do something special, that's all. No, no. Everything's fine, really. I was just worried it was going to be one of those old police things. No, no, no. It's a quiz night, that's all. Oh, good. It's a bit boring being with policemen all the time. No offence. What? Where'd he go? Jesus. Hey, mind yourself. Reg, uh... That's him! On the moped! What? What? Stop! Hey! Hey! Still trying to nick the question, Sarge. So what do you reckon? Cover both exits and we've got him. Yeah. So why send Ian in there? He's petrified, you know. Serious, Sarge. What if he loses it? He'll be fine. The guy's a complete waste of space. Uh, Tom. <clears throat> uh. We've parked out of sight on the industrial estate, Sarge. Thanks a lot. Just hang on a minute. Right, Jim, I want you to get a seat by the window in the kebab shop. If there's even the slightest chance you're getting rumbled, you get out of there straight away. Yeah. Isn't that Reg Ollis? Oh, great. That's all we need. Oh, well, that's the question's gone, isn't it? You've got copies, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. At home on disc. Security, you know. Yeah, I'd better go and get him, haven't I? Well, there's no time, range. Come on. Happy birthday, Mum. <laughs> Thanks. Any new mugs out for a small wager? Too right. Now we stop you from cheating, you've got no hope. Really? Who's the new recruit? Luke. Our secret weapon. Past his 11 plus, has he? <laughs> put me down for a fiver. Yeah, me too. And put me down for the same. You're on. It's a lot of you. All right, Sarge. Just try to find you. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to Sunhill Quiz Nights. Hi, Jamila. What's the older? Oh, um, nothing. He's just sort of checking the questions. How's it going? Oh, yeah, well, not bad, thanks. I've just written around on trains. I found these. Belong to the landlord's kids. Any use? Er... Uh, well... Sorry, it's all I could find. No, no, they're all right. Well, they let the do, won't they? What about sport? I could give you some questions on that. Well, no, it'd be no good for that. That's all they talk about, isn't it? Not the games I know. Right, how does that feel? Yeah, all right, no problem. You nervous? About what? I'm joking. <laughs> Look, just remember who these guys are, okay? Right, right. Jim's just gone inside. Is Ian ready yet? Yes, Sarge. Good, let's get a move on. Tom, you take the back. You come with me. Right, Ian, I want you to listen to me very carefully. I don't want you to try anything clever in there. All I want you to do is wait for them to come to you, then do whatever they tell you to. Now, have you got that? Yeah, yeah, sort of, yeah. I'm just a bit nervous. Don't worry. Don't suppose you've got a fag, have you? Sorry. Something stronger. Very funny. Now, remember, we're going to be right behind you. Bloody hippies. Coming through, lad. 
Sarge. Yeah, okay, thanks, Kerry. That other bloke doesn't like me much, does he? Oh, don't worry about him. It's just like my dad. There's your elephant. Mm. Off you go then. Hey, Ian. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. I hope. I'm in. Who are you? I'm in. Close now. Finish it outside, eh? Okay? Goodbye. Position, Sarge. Jim's been rumbled. Can you see anything? Negative. We're going, Sarge. They're moving back into the kitchen. See if you can find a window or something. I don't believe it. He only smiled at me. I don't think we're blown. Good. Do you see any weapons? No. And uh, don't forget that teams can play their jokers in any one of the five rounds, earning themselves double points in that round. And the winners of the raffle will be announced before the final. It's all the time, to you? Yeah, sorry about that. Right, good evening, everybody. Are we all ready? Yeah. Yes! Um, well, then, why not kick off with round one and question number one? Rod, Rod, we're starting. Come on. The word dinosaur is made up from two Greek words. Terrible lizard. What do they mean in English? <coughs> Terrible lizard. Right down. Kerry, can you hear them all right? Do you know the pudding shop out there, you know? Ian's just telling them about his trip to Istanbul. Have they asked for the heroin? No, not yet, Sarge. Admiral Rodney, Fred Gibson, Wendy Cousins, and Grandpa Dixon. What have they all got in common? Something to do with the pilgrims? What? You mean the Plymouth lot? No, aren't they all types of butterflies? The idea is Rod. Rod, come on, wake up, will you? Hey, um, sorry, what was the question again? Actually, they're all types of rows. Hybrid tea roses, to be precise. Good. Put that down then. I worked in a flower shop, didn't I? We're in with a chance here. Just a minute. What have you done? We've done it. Sarge, the wire's breaking up. What do you mean, breaking up? There's some interference, Sarge. I can't hear what's going on. Oh, damn it. Tom. 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 All right. Turn around. Inside. Come on. Kerry, take the van round the back and block off the exit road. We're going in. Well, I'll have to go around the block first, Sarge. Then hurry up! What is this? Talcum powder and pepper? Huh? Where's the real stuff, eh? Look, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I'm sorry. There's no point in doing that, right? Bamboo! You okay? Excuse me, man! All the doors, yeah! Sorry, yeah, man! 
I told you to shut up. Shut your stupid mouth. Shut up, up hey? I'm going to kill you. Police, police on the door. Who will put down she can't do it. You policemen get away with it, right? Have the best. The trap police. No, no. Oh, those kind of weapons. Quick, get in the car. Get in the car. Get in. You. Get in there. Nice work, Christopher. Sierra Oscar from Carver. We are in pursuit of a light coloured BMW. Kilo 542 Echo Yankee November going west along Claydon Street. Request ARV. Shots have been fired. Over. Vehicle turning left. No, correction. Right, right, right into Shipley Street. Over. Better be coming straight to me then, Jim. Watch out! Oh. I don't! Get off. What are you doing? Get the wheel! Get the wheel! Get him! Get, get the him wheel! Off. Get off! Get the wheel! Get him! Get the wheel! Put your hands on the bonnet. Get on the bonnet! Give me your arm! Ian, you all right? Yeah, man, yeah, brilliant. You sent us in there. You said you knew what it was going to be like in there, and you still sent us in there with him. Anything could have happened. All right, Tom, it's over. It's bloody maniac! I'll call an ambulance. Hey, you, what have you done to Danny? Yeah, come on, where is he? Guitarra! <laughs> Sarge, look. That's Danny's! Right, Kerry, can you come here and look after Matey, please? Just keep Ian out of the way. I'm arresting you for attempted murder. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. You do not mention when question something you like to rely on in court. Danny, you Danny, Danny can you hear me? Oh, no, no, no! It's all right, it's all right. He's still breathing. Come on, help me untie him. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, here are the scores so far in reverse order. Uh, just before we have the last round of the evening. The Sun and All Stars. <laughs> all the threes. 33. What? We've done better than that. And the Barton Street Warriors. <laughs> they are the leaders with a whopping 39. What? Come on, Reggie, you sure about them scores? Uh, of course it was Oscar Wilde who said that all ours is useless. I don't think CID are taking this very seriously, do you? And you like Oscar Wilde, then? He's a hero of mine. Excuse me. Packet of dry roast, please. You all right? Yeah, thanks. He's an incredible bloke, that. Got my respect, anyway. Yeah, that's right. What do you mean? Well, you know, to do what he did. And what was that? Well, but what do they call it? Going out? Coming out. Coming out. Coming out. Yeah, and in front of the whole nick like that. Incredible. Coming out? Yeah. Oh, didn't he tell you he's gay? There you go, keep the change. Right then, are we all ready to play the last round of the game? Yeah! Now listen, we're still in with the Chancellor. This is the history round, isn't it? This is the one. Joker! Yeah! Oh, and Joker there being played by the Sun and All Stars. Joker! Yeah! And also by the Barton Street Warriors. There you are, a bit of a head to head there. Gloves off, right? All right, Luke? Of course he is, fighting fit. Get the old grey matter working, yeah? Okay then. Sport. What? Hold up, hold up. Where's the history round? Oh, shut up and get on with it. We saved our joke for the history round. Where is it? Well, there is no history round. How can it not be history no, round? Don't worry, sir. We'll do all right with sport. Paramedics have taken Danny to the hospital. Well done, Ian. You did really good. <laughs> it was good fun, man. Yeah, and it was a good job one of us was on the ball, eh, Tom? <laughs> What's the matter with him? I think you took him by surprise. 
Shame about that wire, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Just there. That's all I kept hearing. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Reggie's quiz is just up the road, isn't it? I'll have to hurry you. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> right. You don't think... It's got to be, hasn't it? Someone's trying to pull a fast one. The answer is eight, Sarge. Yeah, eight. I've got a feeling it's eight. What do you think? Do Reg a favour. Give him a ring. Right, come on. I'm going to take you down to the hospital and we'll check on Danny. Oh, he does a favour? What? See if Dog's all right. I already have. I thought you might want to know. Dog's going to be fine. Yeah? <laughs> so. Now then, listen, yes, man. Now, the, uh, the last question of the evening, I'm afraid to say, is... If your balls, <clears throat> gentlemen, are black and blue, and your opponent's balls are red and yellow. What game have you been playing? Serious suggestions only, all right, lads? I thought sport was going to be easy. Come on, Rod, you're good at balls. Yeah, it must be, it must be croquet. I'll just repeat the question. Phone call, it... Reg. What now? Urgent, she said. Oh, right. Uh, Jamila, no? <clears throat> Can you carry on? Okay. Uh, could you give us that last one again, please? If your balls are black and blue, and your opponents are red and yellow, what game are you playing? Hello? Hello, Carolyn. Oh well, yeah, I'm a bit busy at the moment, actually. Oh, really? Yes, that's very interesting, Kerry. Thanks. Everyone got that? Can you just move your foot, could you? I'm reading. Hurry up. It's not bold. It's, it's not bold. Well, I could have told you that myself. Hurry up. Evening. Evening, nice. You're from Barton Street, aren't you? Do you know, I was wondering in there how you was doing somewhere. What with tonight being a special evening and all that? He who dares, wins. Not if he gets caught, no. I suppose you're going to turn us in? Well, that's it, wouldn't I? Unless, of course, uh, what? Someone gives me a reason not to. The winners of the quiz, who are going to win this fabulous prize of a bottle of malt whiskey and this plaque, and the winners are the Barton Street Warriors with a total of 50. Right, Reg. No one could score that many with all them weird questions. Yeah, they must have been cheating, Reg. Yeah, well, I didn't say anything. Better like next time. Uh, well, it's a uh, pay-up time, I think. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think you'd like to know that uh, due to an anonymous donation, we have managed to reach the wonderful figure of £320. <laughs> yes, indeed, folks. And when we put that together with the money that we've got from the CID swear books and our other fundraising efforts, that brings us to the grand total of £795 and uh, one Dutch guild. Which is only £5 short of our target, only £5 away from our mobile phone So thank you all very much. Thanks, I had a great time. Yes, see you later. Bye. 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 Wait, no, don't you even think about it. Lucy and I are getting a can of home together. You know what she said to me? Tell me. She said, <laughs> and this is God's honest truth, believe me. She said, Rodney, I really, really feel safe with blokes like you.
Rodney, any small change at all? Um, here, have a fiver. Great evening, great evening. Yeah, nice, wasn't it? <laughs>